Okay, so it's officially week zero of my Appalachian Trail through hike. About a week from today, actually a week from yesterday, I will be starting the trail. And this is my last minute training because New Jersey finally got snow. Um, I'm gonna take you along with me this week as I do my last minute preparations, as I see my friends, as I uh, go to work for the last couple times and generally really, really finish getting ready. <laughs> All right, snow has been cleared from my driveway and my neighbor's driveway. Uh, next up on the docket today is sending a couple emails to graduate programs I've applied to and a therapy appointment with my wonderful therapist, so. All right, so I'm out on my Wednesday group hike. I'm not gonna show the group without their permission, but we've got enough snow that snowshoes are required, so. Not in a proper through hike shakedown setup. All right, the group hike went well today. We did seven and a half miles in some very wet snow. So I'm absolutely exhausted. Tragically, I have to run some errands before I go home and take a nap. Um, went to the bank. Went to Wendy's and got myself some food. Just got out of Lowe's and got my dad some charcoal because we're grilling tonight. And now I've got to go to the supermarket to get the salmon that we are grilling. So like 20 minutes and I can go to sleep. Actually, no, the dog needs a walk. More than 20 minutes before I can go to sleep. So I'm getting ready for bed now and I'm sort of reflecting on today and yesterday and how I'm getting more anxious I'm having more of my last. So yesterday was my last day working at the climbing gym. This morning was my last group hike with the group I've been hiking with all winter. Um, tomorrow's my last physical therapy session before trail. And I knew all these things were coming and that was happening soon but at the same time I was not ready for a lot of these um but we'll get there we'll get to Springer soon oh big yawn it's now Thursday and it's four days till I start the AT I got up a bit of a late start this morning because somebody was sleeping on my bedroom floor and that was a little too cute to ignore so this is Chase he's old and has a hard time standing up but today's plan I am supporting him Today's plan is to go to my last physical therapy appointment, pack my resupply boxes, which should have been done weeks ago, but I am a procrastinator. Go ahead and sit down, buddy. Or come on, let's go. So as I was saying, now that he's down here on the carpet and actually has traction, today I'm packing my resupply boxes, I've got physical therapy. If it dries out a little bit, I might Promethor and treat my clothes outside, even though, like I said, this should have been done weeks ago. Um... And you're going all the way downstairs. All right, bud. Uh, but also I've got some video editing to do later today, so that's gotta get done. Prepping those feet and ankle stabilizers for the AT. Kick that left leg up. Go on up now, pull left, drive left, hold it, stick it. Strengthen those feet. All right, so as you can see, I had physical therapy earlier today. It's now evening dusk-ish time. I'm taking the dog out for his third to last walk of the day. Um, but my physical therapist is Dr. James O'Rourke in Mars Plains, New Jersey. I think it's still technically Mars Plains, but he's great. I've been going to him for a few years now for a couple injuries I've sustained and didn't heal properly. And I've been trying to edit a video all day, but tragically, I really want to finish this arc of the legends. No, it is the Legends of Vox Machina, but it's the D&D &D campaign that it's based off of. So. I have not gotten a lot of editing done today. I'm gonna to try and finish this episode that I'm on. And then I'm going to 
edit a video tonight so I can get it up actually on my start date. Um, ignore the construction going on in the background. It's the day before I leave for Georgia and I am only now treating all my gear with permethrin, permethrin, however the hell you pronounce it. Um, really only treating my base layers, my outer pair of socks, and my sneakers along with my like ankle gaiters. But I should have done this a couple weeks ago. Although honestly it's probably best just to prolong the life of the treatment. Whatever. All right, so the stuff that had to get permethrin treated today got permethrin treated. Uh, I did my laundry, I cleaned my room, and I've got my last shift at work now. I think this is going to be really fun because a lot of my favorite coworkers are working tonight, and I'm working with my favorite managers tonight too, so it should be awesome. And yeah, uh, flight out is at 8.30 tomorrow morning. I'm mostly packed, I just have to put the stuff that's going to be carry on in my backpack and make sure that nothing in there could get taken by TSA. All right, my last shift is done. It's now 11 hours till I get on a plane to Georgia. And um, he might be a last minute addition to my pack. This was my vest buddy at work. He's a little pika. And it was hard saying goodbye to some of these guys. I'm gonna miss my crew here. They're fantastic, so. If you're with me when we're coming through New Jersey, we're taking a slight detour to see my friends. Actually, my friends will probably come out to see us, so... Trail magic! Yay! Alright, good morning. It's the day I fly down to Georgia, so it's Saturday. Um, it's about 5.45 in the morning. Um, but yeah, I've been up since about 4.45. We're gonna make a stop at the local bagel place so I can get one last Jersey bagel before I head out. And I had pizza last night. Um, definitely gonna cry saying goodbye to my dog in a bit, but <sighs> fingers crossed he'll be here when I get back. Hey, buddy, you make it very hard to say goodbye and pet you when you're hiding your nose under the chair. To prove that he's as attached to me as I am to him, um, we're cuddling. I'm gonna miss this dog a lot. Just gotta hang around till I get back, okay? Okay. So we made it to Atlanta. My parents are picking up the rental car paperwork now. I am sitting over here because I am not old enough to rent a car without like the absurd fees. So I'm letting them handle that and I'm just chilling and trying not to freak out because I had a small freak out on the plane. We made it to Amicalola Falls State Park. We're staying in one of the cabins, we being my parents and I. So this is actually right across from the shelter uh, that we all do check-ins at this year. So I kind of run and do that first thing tomorrow morning. Tonight, the goal is get food down and keep food down because I'm super stressed nauseous right now because the magnitude of what I'm doing this year is sort of setting in at this point. <laughs> but for now, we're gonna run out, get some groceries. I need to pick up a couple of last minute things namely new banana chips because mine have gone stale and some sort of electrolyte drink mix. I'm thinking probably Mio because I like that one. But um, it's a beautiful day in Amicalola Falls State Park and it's packed. All right, it's the day before my hike. I'm gonna head over to shelter two to go and register my hike with the ATC, do their start smart thing and get my hiker tag. So we'll go and do that now. Okay.
Alright, so I'm hanging out on the back porch of the Amicable Falls Lodge. My parents started that part of the trail with me and they decided, hey, we can't do this. So they hiked back down and we're going to come up here and eat lunch. And then really just, they've got a raptor show later which my mom and I are going to enjoy. And we're just going to hang out until tomorrow and I'm going to stretch like hell. All right, we just had our last dinner before I head out on trail. Mom, Dad, how you guys feeling about this endeavor? <laughs> Excited. Excited. Uh, yeah, nervous. <laughs> yeah, excited. Very excited for you. I mean, I and optimistic. I think you've got to have a great time. I think it's great. I think I'm very proud of you. Thank you. A <laughs> little bit of last night before ice cream. <laughs> Sharing with mom. I took my last hot shower for a while, and I'm... Laying down for my last night in the bed for a little bit. I finished my book. Um, if you have not read The Left Hand of Darkness by Ursula K. Le Guin, I highly recommend it. I love this book. Also, the last book I'm going to read for a little while. I'm on audiobooks for the foreseeable future. And I guess this is the end of week zero. I will see you all bright and early tomorrow morning for the beginning of day one, week one. And just, as we do this, I'm so excited.